Bringing you the other story, I'm Hassan Abdullah. In this episode, we take a look at the state of private security companies in Pakistan. Now, as the demand for security grows and the state fails to provide this security, many are now looking towards private security companies to fill this void. But are these private security companies really doing what they're supposed to be doing? Let's start off by taking a look at this report by our correspondent, Mumtaz Bangladesh. NWFP is the frontline province in the war against terror, where the total strength of police is not more than 60,000. The modern day security is a complex issue, and the state alone cannot address the security needs of individuals. That's where private security companies come in. But there are a number of problems with regards to how these companies operate and their ability to protect. The government has tried to regularize them through a law, but that has not worked. Then there is the issue of their identification. Security companies in the frontier province have failed to enforce a strict uniform policy for their guards. In ke liye sab kuch uh, written mein maujood hai lekin world mein ke in ke liye apne hi uh, uniform hoga jo pehchana jayega training unko di jayegi jo uh, train shuda ho agar inko ek sarmi wale mile jo ke pehle se train shuda ho ye to aur bhi behtar hai lekin ye agar aam logon se uh, barti kare to unko bhi ensure kiya jayega ke unko training di jayegi the lack of proper uniform makes it difficult for anyone to tell the difference between a security guard and an agency official, or even a terrorist for that matter. So how does one tell a security guard from an armed man in plain clothes? But the biggest hazard that not only endangers the lives of others, but also themselves, is the fact that many guards have little or no experience of using the weapons they carry. And neither do they have any counter-terrorism training. There is a great demand for security guards in the region, but very few trained personnel. That is why security companies end up hiring untrained and inexperienced men. And because most of them are unemployed before they are hired, Security companies do not have to pay them much. But even hiring amateurs isn't easy. Security companies must run background checks, which can sometimes even take months. We give him the uh, verification form to verify him himself uh, from the concerned authorities, that is the uh, political agent or the Taisildar, etc. But they are failing, f f facing uh, too much problem uh, regarding these aspects because they do not have uh, this facility in th those areas like the political agents, now they are not doing the verifications because of the security reasons. Without these checks, private security companies face the risk of unverified guards robbing the very places they are meant to guard. The recent Karachi Bank heist is a case in point where the security guards pulled an inside job and looted billion of rupees. The incident brought into light the hasty practices of private security companies and has cracked open a debate about whether we are really safe in the hands of private security guards. Muntaz Bangash, Dawn News, Vishawar. Muntaz Bangash there taking a look at the state of private security companies in Pakistan. Now, when we're talking about this subject, one of the aspects which often comes under a lot of criticism is the training side. Our correspondent Nasir Mustafa takes a look at that. cannot cope or could not cope with the increasing demand of security protection and security cover for these business or for private sector people, even for residences. It became talk of the town when five foreign men looted foreign and Pakistani currencies worth 310 million rupees from a private bank in Karachi a few weeks ago. It has been described as the biggest bank robbery in the history of Pakistan. According to the Interior Ministry, there were only three to five private security companies operating in Pakistan in 1980s. Three decades later, the number has shoot up to 217 in alone. Around 60,000 people are working with these security agencies. But despite such a big number, 
are these agencies proving well or is there any flaw in their training? I don't think the criticism is absolutely correct, but it is correct in those places where the training is not imparted. If the training is imparted as it is imparted here, we have made it compulsory for our members to go undergo the training. They undergo the detailed training about the uh, uh, functioning of a guard, how he should behave, his uh, demeanor, his uh, knowledge about the weapons, and uh, then uh, we have different courses also, for example, uh, firefighting course, uh, searcher's course, uh, supervisor's course, uh, then we have uh, driver's security course. To meet the demands and to improve efficiency of guard services, the All Pakistan Security Agencies Association, commonly known as APSA, formed a school in 1994. In first phase, they trained 300 guards. Now these numbers are reached up to 41,000. During visit to the school, Don News found this sector needs more improvement in terms of proper place for healthy activities and shooting range for practicing firearms. Good. Apart from first aid and firefighting lectures, and is practicing, they need to more focus to improve their psychological and communication skills. Although most security agencies use NASA identification system and take police help to verify a job applicant, but the sector continues to witness an alarming increase in security guard involvement in criminal activities. There are two kinds of training, there are two kinds of input, there are two kinds of people who come in for a job. One is pure civilian, he's just a civilian, the home department who is the authority to issue arms licenses doesn't give you one license for every, every, every person. It gives you one license for every two people. The transferring of license to other guard or NC also needs proper monitoring. That is illegal, that is unauthorized, you cannot do that. Uh, that I agree with you. If you are transferring the license to somebody else, it is wrong. Trainee says they are satisfied with the training, but trainer says still better facilities are needed. Nasir Mustafa, Don News, Karachi. Nasir Mustafa there looking at the training aspect of private security companies. Well, it's time now for a short break, but there's a lot more coming your way. Stay with us.